Okay, so see where our flag is. We cannot raise units here. There are hostile armies in the rally points location. It says so right there very, very lovingly, very, very clearly in red. Now tell me why doesn't the same thing apply to mercenaries? <laughs> why did a mercenary company... And, and no, I'm not letting go of this. Why did a mercenary company spawn on our faces <laughs> just as the main army was about to attack? <laughs> Relax, I love history lessons too. Alright, alright, good, good. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy that. Uh, so I say we actually move our rally point over here, uh, beat one army up, beat the other army up, and then make our way down there. Wait a minute. Good effing god. Where are my levies? Because all of this now has such low control, we have 500 levies. 500. <laughs> That's not even enough to beat one of these guys. Or rather, barely enough, shall we say. So, do we have the chi- Okay, yeah, we do have the Band of Horsa, the Band of the Horn, which sounds like the same thing to me, honestly. So, we're gonna get these guys. And we're gonna raise whatever small army we have left right now. You'll win because of the army quality, no need for mercs. Well, that message was... It's not your fault. It's not your fault, the message was too late. Or rather, that I read the message too late. Can no longer continue to increase control. No, 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 you can, you can, and you should. Uh, to actually, let's just move you to Toran then. Okay. I'm actually just gonna move my army right there. Okay, you're locked. You're not gonna get away from this. I gained the trait ill. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. No. No. We're fine. We're okay. Duke or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding through my head and throat. You seem to be under the weather, my lord. I know a fair number of suitable remedies. I mean, she has 15. Let's see. Do not do more than, it is, nece than is necessary. A safe treatment might lessen symptoms temporarily and has few risks. It is too late for caution. A risky treatment may have great outcomes but also lead to worsened symptoms or permanent injuries, or just leave me be. I think we go at this point, I mean, we're young enough, our health is fine, we should just do with no more than necessary so that the symptoms are not as bad. Wonderful! <laughs> Even worse. The steam rose from the cup is... Gilamet stirred the green powder in it. She explained the healing properties of the herb at length before motioning for me to drink it. The root is in there too, she boastfully revealed. The bitter herb did nothing to improve my state. In truth, I think I feel worse. Go away, I want to rest. Good roll, kick. Yeah. Yeah, our, the, 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 most of our rolls have been like this. <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh, this character is not the luckiest one, at least not in this stream. Hopefully tomorrow's stream is gonna go a little bit better. And we are not as unlucky. Oh good god, you actually have a very good commander there. But he has been caught. Nyok, nyok, nyok. Where is the re are the rest of them? There they are. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, 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 beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, up, up. I've heard good things about you, and I am interested in starting a written conversation. Who is you? Duke Rudolf of Fiuri. F Friuli. Wait, how are you under... Oh god, you're actually becoming quite powerful over there. You know what? Start exchanging letters. Why not? 
Though he's 46, he's wounded as well. I mean, I'm sick right now, so who am I to talk, right? Has wounded the enemy commander? Good. Thank you for your swift response. I'm looking forward to our correspondence. Please, I implore you, pick the first subject first to discuss. Okay, you're callous, you're gregarious, you're generous. Um, let's discuss the finer points of etiquette. Uh, you're an insightful thinker, theologian. Please tell me about the blessings of family. Are you a family man? Eh... Uh, I guess. My type of roast too. <laughs> uh, to be fair, like, we all have these moments where we essentially feel that all of the roles are bad. To be fair, we're still alive, so far. Quickly, just knocking on some wood. <laughs> I do not want to jinx that one, at least. Yeah, low low control. No shite. Um, the offensive war is at least going down, you know? That's basically what was ruining us here. Isn't there... Wait, isn't there a, diplom a diplomatic thing? Writing history, life of glory, dignitas... Wasn't there one that actually increased your... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's also in stewardship. Popular figurehead. This one. Popular opinion and plus 50. Aye. Okay, well. At least our marshal has a lot to do now. Quite a lot. Uh, to think that you would ask about a subject so dear to me. Okay, okay. We at least got a good roll on this one, guys. Guys, we got a good roll. You truly know me better than most. Since you have indulged me so, I must ask, there is anything I can do for you? I only wish to exchange letters. Perhaps we could arrange a trade deal. What does that do? Holding taxes, plus 5%. Oh, oh. but only in Anjo. Uh, now that I've indulged your wish to talk, I should get a weak hook on him, or I spend prestige. What about this one? Uh, learning challenge. 39% our correspondence teaches me a lot about foreign affairs or 60% gain 100 diplomatic uh, diplomacy lifestyle experience. Uh, I mean we gain lifestyle experience one way or the other, right? Wait, how much do we actually have right now? We are at 881. Sure, let's see. Boom. Eh. We just gained the 100. But it's fine. Within a month, we'll be able to go for, let's see, level of fame, impact, plus 100%. What does that mean, actually? Does that mean that we get a 100 increase in bonus? As in, we gain 10 secular opinion, secular opinion and 2 additional knights? And the other one, Dignitas, diplomacy per level of fame. We increase our diplomacy further by, I think, 2? Yeah, established, distinguished. So our diplomacy would go up by 2 to 16. Which in and of itself is not that bad. That level of fame impact plus 100% hits different. Uh, what do you mean by hits different? Diplomacy perk is available. I mean, we don't really gain that much diplomacy from the level of fame at this point, just yet. We are almost at illustrious, though. It's so good. Oh, okay. We'll go with the Life of Glory, then. On our way towards August. With a plus one, plus two diplomacy, plus one martial, and plus one prestige per month. <laughs> okay, so let's see what it does. Yeah, secular opinion, plus ten, number of knights, plus two. So we understood it correctly. Excellent. For one, CK3's wording was clear. <laughs> no hate, though, no hate. It's an amazing game. It really is. They, they, they're, there's just some finer points that they still have to look at. Like, for instance, yeah, mercenary. Mercenary raising and whatnot. Okay, so you're done in Toren. Oh, good God. Um, Salmur so next, please. If you are a living legend, you gain plus 30 opinion of everyone. You mean everybody gets plus 30 opinion of you. With that perk, that turns to plus 60 on everyone. Yep, 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 yep. That sounds amazing. That really does. Nobody really goes, goes and hates you. Though you are quite old by the time you get to that point, aren't you? Natural plus 10, a severe penalty on health. 
Health is still fine, though. So, luckily enough, this happened while, while we were young. Uh, neighboring ruler won war. Aquitaine won against Tulu. Who's... No. Never mind. In the war against the tyranny of the duke. You are still Valencia. And Jesus, mother of God, is actually spreading. Wait. Betty. Betty, 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 Betty. You're Valden- No, you're Catholic. Then why- Why is your land, Valdensian? You're not Aquitaine. Wait. No. Oh, okay. For a moment there, I thought the king was Valdensian as well. First, make sure you will not die. Yeah. Yeah, but how- How do I do that? <laughs> I mean, we have a physician. We're ill, but we're young enough to survive this, I believe. Crop fields have been constructed. Lovely. Church holdings, vassal taxes, domain. Barony, 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 barony. Okay, so it hasn't added the plus 5, 0.5 yet, I think. Come on, add the 0. 0.5. Hello? Is that it? There we go! We lived! My old self. As I woke this morning and saw rays of sunshine falling through my window, it took me a moment to realize I had slept soundly. For the first time in weeks, I did not wake up coughing once. Sorry, sorry for that little pause there. Right? <laughs> oh, I was not sure if I read that right. Uh, I'm glad to be well again. Heck yeah. Okay, we're alive. We're alive, people. Huzzah. Uh, so, when can we attack you? <laughs> 21 months. Fine. You still have 21 months of peace. After that, I'm taking this. Sable. Because we do not yet have... What are you focusing on now? <gasps> He's focusing on Casus Belli! Heck yeah! Please survive long enough, to, uh, long enough to actually focus on that completely. You are 65, you are not going to be focusing on that completely. And your air... Okay, your air is also pretty darn good. Holy damn. Though he too is also 45 already. And let's not forget... West Francia will fall apart. Though I'm kind of hoping... There are three kingdoms, right? And he has two living sons. So I'm kind of hoping that this part actually remains whole. Uh, and Italy just becomes a separate kingdom uh, again under the second son. Kind of hoping that that happens. That this whole thing will not be like a Gorder, Gorder Boar right here. Go Gorder Boar, he said. Border Gore. There. Fixed it. I can speak. Just <laughs> not in English, I guess. <laughs> eh. It's not saying though. But yeah, it didn't it did increase. It was 1.5, it's now 2.1. Yeah, 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 it did. Warbringer, you really need to make sure you will not have after every war a new peasant rebellion. Yeah. Yeah. There's currently no factions, but we are, like, we do have a relatively good marshal, like, do we have anybody better? We do. But this is a count that's actually a powerful vassal, so we're keeping him. Um, and he's doing a relatively good job, uh, increasing the control. Is there actually a control button? There should be. Terrain, counties, government, development, empire, kingdom, duchy, houses, faiths, cultures. No, no, there is not. I mean, the only way I can actually see control is if I click him over here. So yeah, he's currently in Samur. We have complete control over Alençon, Anjo, Torren, Auxerre, Au Au Auxerre, 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 I think. Uh, but only Anjo, <laughs> only this is actually ours. That's in the green. All of our other lands, like literally Chartres, Vendôme, Saumur, and Poitiers. All of those are in the red. Which also, of course, explains the low amount of levies that we were getting. Like, the, the reason why I want to go to war quickly against somebody for anything at this point is because we still have the mercenaries, right? For two more years. Though, then again, for two more years, uh, our truce with you is up in 20 months so technically speaking 
we would have the mercenaries still up for about four months, which should be enough to beat up the initial army. Duke of Friuli is the ally now. Hmm. But before he actually gets here, because here's the thing, right? Wait, no. Okay, never mind. This place actually does have a solid supply limit, so he would Friuli would be able to raise up the their entire army over here and walk down. And he's probably going to have a little bit more. I mean, every time we go to war with him, we weaken him, right? Not to mention he's a complete bum in Marshall due to his craveness. But he is getting quite a bit of gold, so he will be able, most likely, to once again call on some mercenaries. I'm just hoping not to... So being raided where? Huh? What? W where, though? Dude, that's not my territory. What? That That is... By no means or imagination, my territory. Hello, sir. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Game? Uh, people are trying to murder Jeffrey. Or Jeffroy. Oh, we are getting so, so little in the way of piety. Are you that bad, or...? I mean, piety, 0. 0.55 per month. And our learning, which, granted, is not amazing. Interesting. I was just looking at, like, if we could possibly get some gold from them. Though, if we go on a pilgrimage, I guess... Minimum cost is 100. Never mind, we're not going on a pilgrimage. Not yet. Not yet. Good news is, we have one heir that seems to be going quite well. Uh, do we want her to focus more on stewardship, or do we want her to continue focusing on diplomacy? I think diplomacy is good, right? Since she is literally our heir, and our wife is now 40, so chances are she's not going to have another kid. Jesus Christ, imagine if this was, like, a wi your wife is pregnant message. Greetings, my amicable vassal. For years, my skill in record-keeping and finance has served me well, and it occurs to me that, the, that this knowledge may also be of use to you. I would be happy to share what I know in order to gain your favor. He gains a favor. He loses a little bit of opinion, but I gain even more prestige. And you'll like me anyway, so... No. I will not have somebody have a hook on me. Because I see what your plan is. I see what your plan is. You want to change my feudal contract. You want to change my feudal contract so that I either pay you more or give you more levies. Well, nah. It's not happening. Uh, Well, nothing else is really happening at this point now, is it? Because we're kind of waiting for that truce to go out. My spy master has come to with me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone's plotting to kill my chancellor, Newt. Stop. Like, who's trying to kill my people? Stop this. Stop this at once. Okay, so how much gold do you have? Ah, come on. Count Vulgrin rules over the nearby county of Angulem. Which is home to a large number of devout Catholics. The Valdensian Count could easily persecute the faithful Catholics living there, and it is my responsibility to protect them from this hostile influence. Send an envoy to him to discuss their treatment. We gain a hundred diplomacy lifestyle. He loses opinion of me, or gains opinion of me. Or we smuggle these guys in. Population fled persecution. Ooh, his holding taxes would go down severely. And ours would actually gain. But as in Poitiers, which, you know, it's not much of a gain anyway. Still. Let's do that. I mean, it's literally a point two right there. It would have been so much better if they actually came to Anjo. But oh well. Can't have everything. Okay, so that's in seven months. His army is 
be lowered even further. Allies can come in with plenty of units, but he does not. And it seems that he actually either had an event of some sort, or... Experimental poisons. Jesus, mother of God. Yeah, he's, a, he's an elusive shadow. Jesus, this... Look at that! 29 entry! He could easily kill me if he wanted to. And he hates me. Oh boy. This dude, this craven dude, is very, very dangerous now that I look at it. And considering that goal just went down, he could have. He could have potentially bribed somebody to do something. Now, I'm kind of hoping that he's dumb enough to actually go for one of my counselors and not for me. Because, let's face it, our intrigue is not amazing, it is average, and versus his, uh, which is excellent, we stand very, very little chance. She's intimidated by my dreadful, dreadful reputation. Again, what dreadful repu- Oh, we actually do have some natural dread now. What from? Leisure Spymaster. Are you that good? I guess it's because he's that good, I automatically gain some dread. That's not too bad. Any of the prisoners... You any good? No. You any good? No. You any good? No. How about you? Nope. Nine. They're somewhat good. But considering the threat, I don't want to be recruiting anybody right now. How are the rest of my vassals feeling about us? She doesn't like us, she doesn't like us. For whatever reason, they are considered powerful vassals, even though they're not. We got two new messages. Can designate a guardian. I do believe it's going to be us, so that we have a little bit more control over her. <laughs> Helicopter parent, I guess. Powerful vassals, yeah, I mean, you know, I was looking for a person to uh, sway earlier, so I guess I could easily sway, try to sway her. 88%? Sure, let's do it. Should have probably have done that, that earlier as well. Let's keep going, how much longer? War declared on Liege. King Charles is being attacked by leader Antonio, again. Okay, so, King, do this immediately. Immediately. You have, what? 3,000 units. Oh my god, they're actually... Spoleto and Brescia are also part of this. Okay, so it's not that clean cut. You should get some allies to help you, but immediately take care of that. You don't want that to actually grow into a, another one of those gigantic revolts. That leave both you and me in pain. In severe pain. Five more months. Before we can actually attack this guy again. And this time he's not going to have the goal to actually get any mercenaries to help him. How are we looking on ours? Nine months left. Three months left. Okay, so we're gonna actually have them for another half year before, uh, before they're called off. New liege. Oh boy. Okay. So what happened? Okay. Yeah. So that. Sure. Sure. This is acceptable. So West Francia remained together. Meanwhile, Italy split off over here, and became an uh, a kingdom of its own. Uh, they're, like, the main, <laughs> the main literal capital of the Kingdom of Italy is within West Francia. Our king is not very good. He is quite learned. That is something that we were looking forward to, so that he can actually continue the, uh, Casus Belli over here. Which is still 16 years, because he is a little bit worse than his father. But okay, okay, this is doable, this is doable. 
I just didn't want border gore over here, like, you know, Aquitaine splitting off from West Francia or something. Council invitation as a chancellor. See, that makes much more sense. Me as a chancellor, yes, not as a spy master. Ah, that's what it meant. Aha, it's not because our spy master was amazing. It was because we were the spy master of our king. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Now I see. You know what I would appreciate? If the truce counter actually showed up up here. Like it did in CK2. That the truce is about to run out. I would love for that to have been there. Yeah, the contract expiring comes up, but not the truce. Okay, we no longer have a truce. Huzzah! Uh, he is still allied with Friuli, which have has gained a little bit more strength since last time, I believe. So altogether, they have about 2,000 units. So we would definitely be counting on Bourbon to come and help us. Uh, we also have a daughter that is quick. We might try to find her a suitable spouse. Arnold Robertin, County of Bourbon. Yeah, but I'm already allied with Bourbon. I would prefer somebody else. Uh, Zealand, what? Oberic, Argao, Guinness. And that's it. But yeah, I know that we have congenital traits selected. Because I would like the congenital traits to continue. Alright, I also have to say matrilineal. S remains these two. Okay, so we don't really gain any new alliances from that. Let's start this. So we can actually create a cadet branch, but... I've actually gone and checked what it takes to actually become the head of the actual dynasty. Now, Count Eudas of Bourbon... His maximum military strength is right now 846. House head, head heir is the dude in Dion for whatever reason. Uh, he's not his child or anything, and he has 436. I'm a little bit confused. Oh, no, he is his child. Never mind, never mind. Right. The thing is, though, I actually read how to become the uh, dynasty head. You have to have 10% more military strength maximum military strength than the current house head in order to take over um so our words are apparently be brave we could make a cadet branch we could um but i would more i would actually prefer to simply go and become the head of the dynasty instead. Like, his military, maximum military power is 846. Our current military power without the levies is indeed under that, due to the fact that we have very, very low control in our current lands, due to the revolts pro before, thanks to the useless king not taking care of the um, rebels soon enough, um, including our own aggressive wars and whatnot. The popular opinion is still offensive war is a negative eight, uh, and locals pacified, locals pacified. Yeah, these are the locations that actually rose up against us as well. Um, so these are not going to be rising up anytime soon. Uh, Anjou might, Alençon, that's popular opinion. Chaff chafting control. What does that even mean? Where are you currently, sir? Uh, you're increasing control in Samir, so what is that sh shafting control? Not sure what that actually means. You're too harsh with the king, this is just a big idiot in medieval politics. I mean, technically speaking, yeah, he's... He's trusting, he's content, he's craven, not definitely, and, uh, and a stutterer. Sure, he's a mastermind philosopher, I mean, he kind of... He would be good if he had good diplomacy and whatnot, you know? At least that much. Then you could possibly say that he's kind of, um... What was the Sa Saxon king? Uh... It wasn't Adolf, it wasn't Harold. Or was it Harold? I can't remember, but there was actually a Saxon king who was very, very, very frail, but made up for it with his 
with his very very impressive intelligence and um yeah managed to actually unite everything over there not to mention the same thing could be said about uh octavian in rome like he was never much of a fighter he always had others fight for him but he was the one behind the scenes he was the one with the intelligence actually uh you know uh, pulling the strings on everything and doing the correct moves and whatnot he's kind of sus he's <laughs> he is kind of sus uh, Alfred, Alfred, that was the one. That was the one. Indeed. I think it was Alfred the first. Did I say Adolf? I think I said Adolf. Jesus Christ.